Hi there! With the release of ThingsBoard 4.0, a powerful new feature was introduced. Calculated fields, and I'm excited to show you how it works. It is available in both ThingsBoard Community Edition and Professional Edition. You can define mathematical expressions or scripts to standardize and process incoming telemetry and attributes and create new computed metrics on the fly. Calculated fields can be applied directly to a device or asset or to a device or asset profile, in which case the calculation field will be automatically applied to every device or asset that uses that profile. Key benefits of this feature are real-time processing, calculations happen as data arrives, multi-entity support, combine data from different devices and assets in one calculated field, simplicity, transform data without rule chains and extra logic blocks, improved performance, Streaming architecture with Kafka reduces latency and database load. Flexible output, store results as attributes or time series based on your needs. Let's see how it works with an example. I have a smart device that monitors the current temperature and humidity in real time and sends this data to ThingsBoard. From these values, we need to calculate the dew point. I'll show you how this can be done in just a few clicks. I will go to the Devices page, find the smart device, and click on it. In the Device Details menu, I will navigate to the Calculated Fields tab. Here, click the plus icon and select Create New Calculated Field. In the General section, give your field a name. I'll use Dew Point. Just below, you'll be asked to choose the type of calculated field, simple or script. Simple handles basic mathematical expressions, while script allows for more complex computations using the TBEL expression language and can return multiple output values. We will talk about script calculated fields in one of our future videos, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for new uploads. For this example, we'll choose simple, since calculating the dew point requires just a basic formula. In the arguments section, you need to define the entity and the data that will be used in the calculation. Click Add Argument, and in the pop-up window, set the argument name to temperature. The entity type can be the current entity, another device or asset, a customer, or the current tenant. Leave the entity type as current entity and keep argument type as latest telemetry as we receive temperature as telemetry. Attributes may be used as arguments as well, but it is out of scope for our demonstration. Next, enter the telemetry key that carries the temperature value. We'll leave the default value field empty. Click Add to save the new argument. Now, I will repeat the same exact steps for the argument for humidity. All the parameters will stay the same, with the only difference being the name of the telemetry key. Now let's define the mathematical expression for the calculation. The formula for calculating dew point from current temperature and humidity is available on the internet, and I have it prepared for this example. I will leave the link for the formula and the explanation behind it in the video description. Now specify the output type. The calculated value can be saved either as an attribute or as telemetry. In our case, we'll save it as a time series with the key name dew point. I'll enter one for the number of decimal places to keep the values both clean and accurate. To wrap up, click Add. Now, the device includes a calculated field that determines the dew point value based on the formula. Please note that ThingsBoard stores debug events for a calculated field during the first 15 minutes. After that, only error events are saved. Let's check the debug events by clicking the Events icon button. The debugging window displays calculated field arguments and the computed result. Finally, go to the Latest Telemetry tab, where you'll see three keys, Temperature and Humidity, which is the telemetry received from the device, and dew point, the result of the calculation. Now, we can display the calculated dew point value on the dashboard. I have already added new widgets to the dashboard I showed earlier. These widgets use the dew point telemetry key to visualize the result. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.